All right, we're back. <sighs> oh my god, the Baldwin Mansion. I also haven't heard of Born From A Wishes in the game. If I had to guess, they are probably going to do what Capcom did. Which is make Born From The Wish paid deal- Born From A Wish paid DLC. That is my cynical guess. By- by what Capcom did, I mean, uh, what Capcom did with RE4 Remake. you, wasn't it? You're the one who stepped on my hand. Hmm. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here anyway? I don't know. What's a big dum-dum like you doing here anyway? Hey, that's not very nice. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? What you got there? None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. What? Hey, wait! How do you know her name? Nanya? What are you, a cop? Callington, Calronimo, Calnificent, Calpocalypse. So Maria should be up ahead, but I want to see if there's any goddamn items. Hey! Yeah, give me that strange needle I find on a park bench. I'm sure it's not filled with heroin. No. Welcome to Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside <coughs> resort town. We're happy to have you. There's no better place than here to let go of your busy schedules and finally enjoy a relaxing vacation. Rows of quaint rustic houses mark a gorgeous mountain landscape. And as the Turns to dusk, the surface of Toluca Lake, sh Lake shines a whole range of dreamlike colors. Silent Hill will move you and fill your heart with peace. We're more than certain your time here will be pleasant and leave you with memories that will stay with you. Uh, forever. Calronimo. Calronimo, Calronimai, Calnificent. All right, oh, you always say, who's this slag that looks like my dead wife? Where are you at? So I can judge your stupid new outfit. Nope. Oh. Now it's a forced walk! And once you enter the region for the forced walk, you're stuck walking, and now there's an invisible wall! Fuck you, Dads! You have just lost points for including a fucking forced walk! You fuckers! 
I don't care if it's short. Stop it. Mary? No. You're... not. Do I look like your girlfriend? No, my late wife. I can't believe it. Your face, your voice, you could be... My a... name is Maria. I don't look like a ghost, do I? <laughs> See? Warm. Sorry, I got confused. Hey. Where are you going? I need to find Mary. Didn't you say she died? Oh. Yeah. Three years ago. It's it's just... I got a letter from her. A letter? I know how it sounds. I'm, I'm not... I don't... Hey. It's okay. So, what did the letter say? She said she was waiting for me in our special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? I, uh... I don't know anymore. Something I just I can't quite. Hey, I think I might know. I mean, there's this one place, not far from here. What kind of place? The kind two lovers might call special. I can show you if you want. Unless you have somewhere else to be. Something else to do. Hey, <laughs> easy there. I'm just messing with you. Come on. It's this way. You're coming with me? Can't you just tell me where it is? <laughs> You're just gonna leave me here? Alone? With all these monsters around? No, I, I just... Is it because... I remind you of... her? You loved her, didn't you? Didn't you? Alright, just... So it's okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I know that. Come on, let's go. No, shut up. Don't talk to me. <laughs> See, there's zero to ten. I, I I know that, Cal. That's why Pyramid Head be so dummy thick. James is just like, damn, that's a thick boy. I know. I just. 
Sorry, I'm just a bit preoccupied. It's fine. You know, if there's anything you want to talk about, anything at all. You know, I don't want you no. talking. Let's just keep moving. I don't want anybody talking. Yeah, give me that toilet beverage. Cal, you love toilet beverages. That's why they call you toilet beverage, Cal. This place we're going to, what is it exactly? Game, you were doing so good. A special place for young couples in these parts. I think it's easier if I just show you. Who is that? Just a woman. Killed for no real fault of her own. Victim of persecution yeah. by the Jenny. Theme, I guess. I'd like to read it. In history, you know? Lived with pride and honor. What happened here shall never be forgotten. <clears throat> Game introducing Mary uh, is not a invitation, or Maria rather. Uh, shouldn't be an invitation to add a bunch of goddamn bu uh, buddy AI voice dialogue. Please. Don't go overboard with it. Cal, what would you do if Pyramid Head was outside your house twerking? Like, shaking that dumper. Grinding his butt right up against your 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 front door. Getting his getting his pyramid head juices all over your front door with his butt. Can I smash it? Whoa! Hey, why'd you do that? Shut! I want you to do it. Cause it's glass and it's breakable. Don't fucking judge me, you thought. Just for that, I'm gonna break more glass. There, we can go through the motel. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going over here, because I'm going to break shit. I didn't come here to find Mary. I came here to cause a ruckus. Hey. Shut up! Game, you were doing so well. Bit, how did I startle you? I've been breaking glass for the last couple minutes. You startled me. Oh my god. Watch Maria just be like, hey, that was my car. I'll be like, good! Air conditioning's expensive. Uh. Can I go in here? No. No items. So yeah, anyways, Cal, Pyramid Head is uh, rubbing his butt up against your front door. What do you do? I could really use a Shut up! <laughs> I'm now getting agitated. Oh, let me break it! Can't go in there. What if he's never done? What if he just rubs his butt up against your front door 24/7 forever? Not getting through here. No reason to. It's the wrong way anyway. Shut up. I'm now getting ag very agitated. <laughs> oh, let me let me break it. You ever stayed in a place like 
The walls are so oh. Love, hate, jealousy. Hey Cal. Hey Cal. Hey Cal. Hey Cal. I do know this because I saw this on Twitter. Guess what? Guess what, Cal? Oh. Yeah. All those jokes, years of jokes, try 0451. Although that's not the first code in the game, so they blooper fucked up. I think you just saved my life back there. Oh, shut up. I did. Yeah. So am I. Uh, I think they do. I don't remember. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad the slow walk to save her. Uh, you found amusing. Uh, if uh Silent Hill 2 remake, because I know it's it kept all the same endings. And for the sake of anybody who's never played or seen Silent Hill 2 before, I'm going to do my best to refrain from spoiling too much or saying too much. However, one of the endings is dependent on how you behave and treat uh, Maria. James, is everything all right? I'm saving. Fuck off. Hey, you okay? That's not the case. Oh my god, stop it! Hmm. You were doing so well! Like, I, I'm still- I was still hyper-skeptical and everything like that. I was not super happy with the game. But it had its moments, and I was literally just praising the game in Blue Point- uh, in the- in the apartment complex. About how there wasn't endless dialogue for the sake of dialogue and endless hint VO. And now the minute we get fucking Maria... Dialogue for the sake of dialogue, hint VO. Again? Yes! Again! I will break all the goddamn glass! Can you let me in? No! No, I'm not doing that. I refuse. No. Also, hey Cal, remember that one time you could break a brick, uh, brick wall in OG Silent Hill 2? Well, now it's a full-on mechanic, constantly. One less, three, one more. Hey, hey, shut up! I'm going to yell at her to shut up every single time. I kind of just want to book it to the hospital at this point, because that way we can just dump her ass. Unless they changed how it operates. The fuck is that? I'm assuming there's got to be a jack somewhere. Hey. You think I'd look good in this one? Uh, I would look good in what? Oh, it's Maria's old outfit. Ha 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 ha. You're so cute, Bloober. So cute. Yeah, you should. Now shut up, please. God damn it. Uh, I guess... Garage Jack is what we really need. Now I'm going to avoid using the gate and we're Wait, just gonna go down James, here. It's the wrong way. <laughs> it's called explosion. Hmm. You get away from me. Beat her up, not me. Takes two to ten. We'll smack her! She's my meat shield. Ah. 
Uh, can I hit Maria? No. Yeah, running into the wall. GG. GG, Maria. GG. You'd think there'd be a jack here at the quote-unquote vehicle repair shop. Get out of my way. I thought I saw an X there, but it was just a bag. James? Your wife. What was she like? Or is... Sorry, I'm not... That's fine. Why do you ask? Because I want to be your wife! I want to ride your, your, your boner! Sure talk about it. Oh, come on. You said we look alike? At least give me something. Well, she, uh... She liked to play the piano. I'm not sure if you're really that much alike. Oh? I don't strike you as the pianist type. Mm, let's just leave. Sure. sure. I will break everything. You know we're heading the wrong way, right? Shut yeah, up! Just bear with me, okay? Whatever you say, big man. God damn it! Hey, hey, I knew my wandering would pay off. Oh, no. Spare no, go come back. What the fuck? Love QTEs. Uh oh. Ow. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's three spitties. Spitty McGillicuddies. Are you a pianist, Cal? Oh, there he is. Hey, Squiggles! Where are you going, boy? Shut up. Huh. What is it? Nothing. Just deja vu. Deja vu? Uh, is this Baldwin Manor? Oh, we're at Yellow Health. Okay. I think they're gone. No. For now. Oh, no, that's Heaven's Night. Yeah, I can tell that they're gone when the radio stops. I don't need you saying that, please. Alright, Cal, what would you do if you woke up and Pyramid had, had set up a piano outside your house and was slamming his ass cheeks on it? Just non-stop.
Oh, hello. Hey. Uh, you know, uh, you can wait outside if you want. I'll just look around the place. Why would I want to wait outside? I thought you might not want to. James, if you don't want me around anymore, you can just say it. Okay, I don't want you around anymore. It's not that. Yeah, my way. How can you sit there and eat pizza? Ugh. This town's full of monsters. Who could just sit here and eat pizza? Ah ha ha! I see what you did. There. Hell, do you get it? Well, I'm assuming, I'm just guessing that that's the only thing here. Whatever, it's fine. Oh my god. No. Yeah, I, I see them, Maria. I'm glad I cut off her stupid you know dialogue. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure when was the last time anyone's been inside. Okay, there would be nothing up there. Cursed, you love typewriters. That's why they call you typewriter cursed. But yeah, uh, I, I've already said this numerous, numerous, numerous times. Uh, I'm not terribly fond of excessive dialogue in video games or hint VO. Uh, especially in a horror setting, where you're, the whole point is to be, like, immersed in the scares and the spookiness and shit like that. And when there's constant fucking chatter, uh, it gets, it, it kind of, it just takes me out of it, even more so than in a normal game. Now, granted, this has not been the absolute worst, because there's some games where characters just will never stop talking. But Maria constantly being like, you're gonna... When it's like, I need to f I'm looking for resources, because resources are fucking scarce. Uh, is really goddamn aggravating. She's never- she wasn't that needy and annoying in Silent Hill 2. It's not like an a- like an Ashley Graham situation, right? Where Ashley's just constantly screeching, There's more of them. Yes, I fucking am aware! Yeah, okay, yeah, target- target the fucking- the bug, as opposed to the other one that I'm actually aiming at. Okay, yeah, sure.
This is just part of the, uh, I guess we should say, the lastification of modern video games. Well, Naughty Dog had buddy AI that talked and give you hints. Let's do that in our game, too. Orange, I don't care. Oh. How's it going? No. Uh, I'm doing okay. Orange. Drinking a second one. Kind of normal. Okay. Is it over? Okay, Jack's in. Where the fuck was the... Yeah, there we go. Oh, you mean the one that says, It's Trauma? It's from Silent Hill Ascension. There's a sticker that you can unlock in Silent Hill Ascension, because the people who made Silent Hill Ascension are very, very dumb. Very, 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 very dumb. This is colossally dumb. Are you sure that's a good idea? Yeah, it's fine. Just give me a minute. Uh, Matt's the lives at Brookhaven Hospital. Hey. Threat. You okay in there? Uh, Can you let me in? Ring. Mass layoffs at Brookhaven Hospital threaten the institution's future. The layoffs were, we reported on last month are continuing. Over 10 people have been let go which has reduced the hospital staff by more than half. If the situation does not improve, staff shortages will put patients at risk. Brookhaven is a hospital with a long history. It was established in 1810 when a deadly epidemic swept through the Silent Hill area. Ever since, it has incessantly brought help to the residents of town. However, more and more have made their voices heard on how the presence of a psychiatric hospital in the middle of the town has a negative impact on the local community. Residents fear that an incident from two years ago might repeat itself. And also, just for that, no, I'm not letting you in. If I have to fucking crawl on the goddamn ground, you can crawl on the goddamn ground. Hey, did you just leave me there? Yeah. Yeah, I did. But for me... Uh... Hold on. <laughs> there we go. It's kind of like my RE one. Yeah, so I would go... Original Silent Hill 2. Um, followed by Shattered Memories. Very close... Close, followed by Shattered Memories. That's my favorite Western developed uh, Silent Hill game. Uh, prop, followed by Silent Hill 1. And then 4, it's game, like, in gameplay perspective, it's definitely 
the uh, black sheep of the Team Silent Era. But narratively, narratively, I think uh, it's one of the best written entries in the franchise. Just from a gameplay perspective, it can kind of be a giant pain in the ass. Oh, yeah, I also didn't include Ascension in this list because Ascension isn't really a game. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll edit it. Silent 3 is my, my least favorite of the Team Silent Era because, uh, I, 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 I'll think of Play Novel later. Um, because it's kind of a play it safe sequel where it's like, it's the only Silent Hill game that is a direct sequel. I do like Heather and it has some strong emotional moments. Uh, but just, I don't know. It just doesn't quite click with me overall. Nar narratively um homecoming and i haven't played downpour in years i didn't hate downpour when i played it and i don't hate homecoming it's a big drop after silent hill 3 like if 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 i did like out of 10 type stuff i'd give like silent hill 3 like an 8 and homecoming and downpour would be like a 5 and 5 is like the five isn't a failing grade. It's like middle, average, medium sort of thing, right? It's mid. They're boring. And Downpour is also really, really buggy. Uh, Origins I, is my least favorite of the Western developed Silent Hill games. Because it's an unnecessary prequel. It's just really boring and pointless. And its combat is really dumb. What with... How intense weapon degradation is and the fact that you're carrying like 18 portable TVs in your coat. It's really terrible. Uh, the Short Message, which is the most recent game before Downpour, the free one that's on PS5, I fucking hated. It's it's the only Silent Hill game I have genuinely despised that I've completed anyway. Um, it feels like what you would expect a Bloober Team Silent Hill game to be, but it's actually made by Konami. It feels like one of the dime a dozen terrible PT ripoffs, and its attempt to connect itself to Silent Hill is is pathetic and non-existent. Book of Memories was the Vita one, where Konami said, hey, let's turn Silent Hill into a Diablo clone. And the little I played of it was terrible, but I haven't finished it. Um, and Ascension is terrible. It's the, uh, 21 episode choose, chat chooses their own adventure via knockoff Twitch series that would have be worked better as like an Until Dawn style game. Uh, it also has little to no relation to the town of Silent Hill or the Silent Hill narrative as, as a wider world. Uh, and it's, it's absolutely dog water. But it's also so bad, it's funny in a lot of instances because of how baffling it is. On Plant is inoffensive. It's neat. It's basically Silent Hill 1, but as like a, a audio-visual novel on the Game Boy Advance. And I haven't played any of the mobile games. And I haven't played, um... Uh, or, or really looked at the pachinko shit. So, anything good in here? As good as it gets. If I, I mean, if I had to, like, rank Silent Hill to remake right now based on what I played, it would probably go around where Homecoming and Downpour are. Like, I, I am, I'm, <clears throat> as I've said many, many times, uh, I don't think Silent Hill 2 needed a remake in the first place. It just needs proper preservation. Uh, and I think attempting to remake Silent Hill 2 is a bit of a foolish idea. It would be almost as if, like, some other developer wanted to try to remake Ocarina of Time. I mean, granted, Nintendo kind of remade it for the 3DS, but that was like a 1 2 1 remake, right? Uh, outside of, like, some minor tweaks here and there. Oh. 
this game has done some things that are pleasantly surprising, but now it's also kind of dipping itself into bad territory with, uh, for me personally, with the uh, Hint VO and Buddy VO and stuff like that. I might, Alan. I mean, may maybe the Pachinko Silent Hill games are hilarious. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't actually looked at them. <laughs> All right. We're finally back on the main path. Maybe Maria will stop whining at me about going in the wrong direction. Because, like, for me, the best horror games either have, like, really, really fun dank gameplay or are really, really atmospheric uh, and sometimes incredibly emotionally draining. Uh, and Silent Hill 2, the original, is, is an exceptionally emotionally draining game. I love OG Silent Hill 2. That's also why I love... Um, Okay. Uh, Silent Hill Shattered Memories. It's, it's, it's narrative is just... It's ending is so fucking emotionally draining. Like, in a good way for me. It's, it's... It's, it's gut-wrenching. What the fuck? What do you want? Is everything alright? I... Sounds good, Saru. Get some food. This place... Just gives me the creeps. I'm not sure why. It's because of born from a wish. I, I'm not sure. It does feel familiar somehow. Like a bad memory. It's nothing. Yeah, I've only had a Pop Tart Sarah. That's why I wanted Q to get me a burger, but Q's like, no, I have to go shoot raccoons. Tee hee hee. So, James. What? Three years. That's a long time. What will you tell her if, when you find her? Uh, skibbity toilet. That's what we'll tell. That's what we'll tell Mary. You're right, Q. You, you are rude. What's that supposed to mean? Like I said, three years is a long time. Uh, I don't know. COVID has made three years seem like nothing. Well, it kind of depends on really what you're kind of, like, looking for and whatnot. Um, in terms of, like, something that, like, it, it's not really my favorite Resident Evil game. Uh, but I find that the Resident Evil 2 remake is probably the most replayable Resident Evil game for me. I really enjoy the mechanics of it. Uh, Resident Evil 4 would also be up there. It is a bit of a long fucking game, but Resident Evil 4, the original, is, like, all killer no filler, banger, banger, banger the entire time. For me, my personal favorite survival horror game is uh, Resident Evil 1 Remake, which is fixed camera angles tank controls. I grew up on that stuff, and I kind of love fixed camera angle tank controls, with the caveat as of uh, they have to be implemented well. If you have bad fixed camera angles, then the game is going to play like shit. You know, it's it's not gonna play well. Oh, cinematic, I'm gonna mute. Strange. This should not be here. Well, it is. So what now? Now we look for another way.
Oh no! Hey, get away from me. Hey, squiggling f jackass! Give me that ammo. Um... In terms of, like, multiplayer horror, uh, Left 4 Dead 2 is definitely up there. Phasmophobia is up there, obviously. I like that we got this pipe, which is presumably more powerful than the wooden plank, but it's seemingly doing just about as much melee damage. Dying Light was pretty neat. Uh, yeah, but yeah, Parasite Eve is definitely up there. I adore Parasite Eve. Um, uh, I really like Dino Crisis. Because th th that's also one of the things, too, is depending on the era of the game, if there's jank, I can be pretty forgiving. Uh, especially depending on what the game was trying to do. Or if the game has something else about it that I find amusing or entertaining. Like, by all objective metrics, the Ring Terrors realm is a terrible game. Absolute terrible, terrible, terrible game. But I kind of adore it because of how stupid it is. Yeah, there we go, alright. Because I'm also a fan of schlock. Ah! Oh. And yeah, another another thing to note too, at least with horror games, is uh, I kind of have a very, very, very high tolerance for horror. So usually I'm kind of talking a lot of smack. Or, uh, making dumb jokes, doing meme type stuff. Uh, that fun s sort of thing. Usually when I get, like, real, like, the, I, I don't so much get scared as, like, when I, whenever something, like, super genuinely creepy or spooky happens, I'm more like, oh, that's so cool! It's, like, gross and awful, I love it! Because I, I just love the horror genre. Hey, God, stop puking on her! Yeah, okay, target the one that's farther away, James. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, t and, okay, yeah, the targeting in this game is pretty, pretty bad. <clears throat> that's, that's another thing, too, as, as, as I was mentioning earlier. Yeah, we're almost done. Silent Hill 2 original... The combat is janky and clunky, but it feels like almost deliberately clanky and junky... janky, right? Maybe that's just my fanboyism talking. But that's kind of what it feels like, because James Sunderland's supposed to be an everyman. He's not, like, you know, Master Chief or, or you know, a Belmont or whatever. He's not even a Resident Evil character, right? He's going to, uh... Hey! He's not... He doesn't know how to do this stuff. Right? That's what OG Silent Hill 2 feels like. New Silent Hill 2, the combat for me feels like a company that has never done a combat system before. And they're trying to emulate the combat from, like, The Last of Us and the Res and Resident Evil, uh, 2, 3, and 4 remakes. But they, they're not great at doing it. And that is exactly kind of what, uh, you know, Bloober is. Like, they've never done combat before this game, right? Most of their games were 
first person walking sim horror games. Uh, I don't know what the medium is exactly. I think it's it's a hide horror game, like you're hiding from enemies or whatever. I don't know, I haven't played it. One of these days I'll get around to it. No, so they completely moved where Heaven's Night is. Okay. I want ammo and health items, so I want to explore every nook and ooh, cranny. Cal, can you quote that? about the strip club. <laughs> I can see you never skipped leg day. Ha <laughs> ha. Get out of here. But yes, I, I do try to make Phasmophobia comical. Especially because I know uh, a lot of people find Phasmo to be super spoopy. And I kind of found Phasmo to be spoopy when I first played it. Many, many moons ago. Uh, now I'm really, really, really desensitized to everything within Phasmophobia. Occasionally it'll get me to jump. And I'm like, you... Rascal. But most of the time, uh... They get away from me. Hey! Smack him! Maria, be quiet. I am stomping on ye old enemy. I love it. Yeah, Jeer loves strip clubs. That's why they call them strip club Jeer. Alright. I don't think there's any more a, a whatever. I don't think we're safe. Have you seen have you seen Silent Hill? I mean, you're not safe. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, they moved Heaven's Night down south. I don't know why. I love force walks. Oi, 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 what's all this, then? Where are you keeping that key? Heaven is not supposed to have three keys. You guess. She did pull it out of her booba. That's what. That's what. That's she. She pulled out a key from her booba in OG Silent Hill too, but she also kept a key in her boot. She's just like, "There's a key in my boot," and also booba. And James Sunderland is just like. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, this is why we need to get a remake of Resident Evil Survivor, so we can have the second Heaven's Night brought back. Yeah. Yeah, ye old Maria did that too, Cal. 
Also, Cal, can you quote that about metal tender tender bits? Is that Eddie? Did they move Eddie from the from the from from the bowling alley to the strip club? If it is Eddie, then this is going to be hello. The scene that I know of and that I hate. But I don't know, we'll see. Hello. Gimme, 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 gimme. Why can't James Sunderland just start, like, like, corking and stripping? Just because he wants to feel pretty. Special place you met? Don't be silly. Just have to go through and out the front. Then again, now that we're here, can we stay just for a little while? No. Catch our breath before we head back out there? No. I don't have time to take a break. Mary could be out there, waiting for me. I know. It's just... This place, this whole thing, it's like a nightmare. I just wanted to get away from it, even for a second. I'm sorry. I... Well, no. then hang out here. Fine. Drink. You sit there and I eat mean, pizza. I guess this place is getting to me, too. Jonathan. Am I crazy? Yes. You know, for thinking she could be here. Crazy is one word for it, I guess. The word would be stupid. I can think of another. What's that? Hopeful. We were talking about it. I don't know if we ever actually made a full list. That's a nicer way of putting it. Here. What are you doing? Clive has had sex. Cloud and Tiffa have had sex. Oh yeah, no, we saw Clive have sex. We should probably get going. Fine. Ready when you are.
I want to smash the glass. Lost and found. Okay. Toluca Light? Silent Hill has its own beer? How are we gonna get that Eddie scene? Everybody looks off for me personally. Is that you? Would you like it to be? Now, granted, to be fair, there's you know a lot of nostalgia bias and everything like that, and we've had twenty years to be adjusted the to the original character models. But I just I I just Resident Evil 2 remake Leon and Resident Evil 2 remake Claire, it was a jarring thing at first. Long. Right? I would like to go. Please move. Um, but after seeing it in gameplay, I got used to them, and it's like they're they're pretty great. Uh, but no, I don't. Now stop doing a forced walk, please. Uh. What was I saying? Yeah, no, uh, RE2, uh, Leon and Claire. They, they looked weird at first, but after playing through the games, also RE, RE3, Jill, uh, they were very fitting for those remakes, and I, I grew to like them, and I think they're, they're strong character models. Uh, just all these characters feel off. Look-wise, visual-wise, like... I was saying earlier, by conventional voice acting standards, sure, this remake has better voice acting. But it's, for me, it's like the same thing as like the Silent Hill HD collection. Where the professional voice actors don't really match the story for me personally. Uh, and I personally feel that a lot of the dreamlike quality of the original Silent Hill 2 has been stripped away and lost. And a lot of the more unsettling or disturbing sequences also feel less unsettling and disturbing. Like, as Jer pointed out earlier, the sequence with Eddie vomiting his guts out after finding a dead body felt far weaker in uh, the remake than it did in Ye old Silent Hill 2. Again, credit where credit is due, I, I do appreciate the fact that uh, there's a lot of accessibility options that allow me to kind of like turn off a bunch of stuff, or enable a bunch of stuff. I think the fog is solid. I like the Akira Yamaoka score being brought back and remixed, and new stuff being added. Um... <coughs> I think the menu is pretty good. Uh, I don't know where it is, but there was a nice touch that somebody pointed out. Uh, yeah, here we go. It's just in the in the pause menu. There's a there's there's a little touch here in the background of this menu. Without getting into details, um, for the people who haven't played Silent Hill 2, and to avoid spoilers, uh, the background appears to be a super grainy and blurred version of what James watches on the, ho on the te television screen at the end of the game. <sighs> Maria, please stop talking. I know we're on the other side of the, ca uh, ca the chasm. Please stop. Hear me. Oh, this is where you want me to go? Then I'm I'm going somewhere else. I'm gonna delay before we progress. And also before I go on another BRB. Oh, never mind, we can't go much farther up there. 
so this Moonlight Grove thing is, is also another brand new thing. Uh, that I'm not ter- not- not happy. <sighs> that was intense. Intense does not think the road! Maria! Uh, I'm gonna take this time to get in a quick, uh, ye old stretch break. So, B R B chat. All right, we're back. Uh, that's it. A garden. There's a bit more to it than that. Is there? If you say so. I love forest walks. I don't think I've been here before. Come on. She's just around the corner. Uh-huh. She? Don't make my camera look at shit. Let me run! Stop force walking me. told around these parts kind of a local legend it tells of a woman who was cast out sentenced to die on an island out on the lake but there was a man in town who fell madly in love with her <laughs> and every night he would sneak out row across the lake bringing her food and Company. And every night she would stand there on the shore holding a lit candle to help him find his way. But this one night a terrible storm broke out, caught him out in the open, and it blew out the candle. Even in darkness, the man would not give up, he would not turn back. So he fought against the raging waters until finally the lake took him. They say even then, the woman never lost hope. She kept coming out at night, kept lighting the candle to bring her beloved home, to lead him to shore. <laughs> Not sure how much truth there is to it. It's probably just a fairy tale. But she's become something of a local saint. A patron of undying love. Hence this place. She's not here. What? She's not here. And why would she be? I don't even remember this place. Okay. There's plenty of other places to look. We can still... Come on. I'm good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what the fuck was that noise there, eh? You what, mate? 
I still want Cockney James, Cockney Gangster James DLC. Now, ever since we started thinking about that. Uh, short hair, don't care. Oh, you're gonna you fuck you. Oh, this is where we're gonna meet Eddie. This is where we're gonna get the stupid scene. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Maybe you better wait here. Okay. Not much of a movie fan anyway. Uh-huh. And James? Yeah. Be careful in there. <sighs> no. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go! Jeer! Jeer! Jeer, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the new variant, the, the new scene of, of Eddie eating food? That is baffling. It's a baffling change. The camera really doesn't know what to do when it's up against the wall. This is bizarre. Did you hear that too? This is this is one thing I saw on Twitter. I'm delaying it to look for resources. And I hated it. I showed it to Greedy, too, and Greedy was like, the fuck is this shit? Alright. He should probably stop delaying, but... There could be ammo or toilet health drinks. Kel loves toilet beverages. <gasps> ammo! That's the best kind of ammo. Let's get on with it. Oh. Alright, here we go, Jer. Muting. out yet mm, yeah I just didn't get around to it yet oh. at least you got your appetite back are you alone here Eddie Probably just Laura messing around. The little girl? Laura, is that her name? That's what she said. I'm gonna go look for her. You coming? Now you want me to come with you? Why? Why? Just have me pizza. Stop moving my camera.
Is it because Eddie's fat? Is that why you're having him just, like, dip his hand into, like, melted ice cream and licking it off his hand? It's a baffling, bizarre change that doesn't improve anything. It's, it's worse. Like, Eddie eating pizza isn't necessarily, like, I mean, sure, you could take it as Eddie being fat, but it's also like Eddie's just having some food. And James is just like, you know, this town is dangerous. How could you sit there and eat pizza? Yeah, it's a corny, silly line, but it's it's true. You know, it says more about stuff. The, the only thing I will give that scene credit for is that Eddie looked visibly hurt when James said, at least you got your appetite back. Like, I don't see that. I don't think James intended that to be like an insult or anything like that. More of just, oh, you were vomiting earlier. Uh, I, I, you know, you you seem to be fine now, and then Eddie taking it as an insult because of what he's doing and fat and and whatnot. I that, that's a neat that's that's a nice little touch, but I don't understand why he would just be sitting there licking melted ice cream off of his hand. They animated him eating pizza in 2001, and Naughty Dog was able to do a pizza party in, in uh, Lost Legacy. I don't give a shit. Hey. Yeah, and there's also a pizza box in the bowling alley. Because cheeky reference, Jared. Cheeky reference is cheeky about pizza. That's why. Again, in this this scene took place in the bowling alley in the original game. Now there's this movie theater that wasn't here in the original game. But again, this is a quote-unquote faithful remake. I don't think any of the people who played Silent Hill 2 Remake, the reviewers, or even maybe fans who keep calling it a faithful remake, know what the word faithful means. I want pizza. Q, are you still here? Give me pizza. And a burger. Give me pizza burger. Laura, stop! It's dangerous! Stop touching my camera. I saw they gave it 100 out of 100. I mean, that's fine. People are entitled to like stuff. If if someone genuinely thinks this is a ten out of ten, and a great game, I'm I'm genuinely happy for them. If they like it, you know, for whatever reason, but I don't think anybody could call this a faithful remake. <clears throat> Maria, did you see the little girl? Yeah. What well, sounds like a heart attack, you? She went that way. We can still catch her. Pizza and a burger. Well, like, you'd eat one, and then you'd save the rest for later, Q. Now, I'm not talking about a burger pizza. I'm talking about a burger and then also pizza. I mean, a burger pizza is probably fine. Like, you just you'd have to eat it in moderation. I don't know. I've never had hamburger pizza. I don't even know what, what that would be. I would assume just pizza with, like, ground beef on top of it. That's probably a thing. I don't remember the the food truck, but there was there was one uh, there was one hamburger that I had heard of. Q that was definitely a hundred percent a heart attack. Uh, and that was uh, you make two grilled cheese sandwiches, and that is your bun, and you slap your burger in your burger patty in between the two grilled cheese sandwiches. So it's four pieces of bread for two grilled cheese sandwiches. Cal, can you quote that about Seng and the robot and Kate Sith? Two grilled cheese sandwiches for a burger? Sounds lewd? What the fuck? Well, I got what you meant. Why are you gonna puke, you? Because of the idea of two grilled cheese sandwiches? Do you not like grilled cheese sandwiches, Q? Do you find grilled cheese disgusting, Q? Is that why? Do 
you hate grilled cheese, Q. <clears throat> oh. What if Reeve and the robot had sex with each other, Q, uh, Cal? Also, or what if, what if the cat robot had sex with the Mog robot? Anyways, Q, I want, I'm, I'm hungry. You need to get Jir tacos. And you need to get me a burger and pizza. And you still owe Rachi, like... 17 billion burgers or borgers Get out of the way. James look no Oh that needed to be a cinematic But yeah, back to Vincent, like, that's part of the reason why I can't take Dirge of Cerberus seriously. It's not because of the edgy Hot Topic vampire stuff for the fact that it's a bad, silly, silly game. It's because of the fact that Vincent got cucked by Hojo. I've, I've never been Team Vincent. Because Vincent gets cucked by Hojo. And I just, it, it just can't. Like, I know Hojo, I, I guess, has Riz in OG FF7 because he's surrounded by ladies in swim trunks and swimsuits on the beach. Uh, but it's also Hojo. He's like a giant, he's a giant weird sex pervert ner nerd. I can't take it, I can't, I can't take it seriously. And don't poison me either, Q. Or Jeer. Don't give Jeer poison tacos. Q, don't do it. Don't give him poison tacos. Is that a gun cabinet? In a hospital? Yeah! Oh, it's empty. Somehow that seems worse. Does it though? Also, Q, Q, uh, you should give us mac and cheese as well. And grilled cheese sandwiches. Where did she go? Hospital has a different layout as well. Let's look around. Faithful, guys. Oh, that's a good one. Jeer, that's a good one. If I could fit it all, I would add Raccoon Shooter as well, but... That fits in Discord, so hey, cool. Lady Q, Mistress of Mandrake. The director requested the files of three crucial patients. You know which ones. Could you please bring them to his office? And Q, if you raise, if you, if you cause a stink, I'm gonna change your name to Chekhov's Raccoon Killer. Actually, I just noticed that Domino's has, uh, or did not notice, but I saw it the other day. Uh, no combination now. What should we call it? We should look around. Um. Might be written down somewhere. Shut up, Maria. Uh
Hold on. Uh, they, 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 they now sell mac and cheese. A mac and cheese thingy. I tried it, it was alright. Cam, uh, it is okay. It's not offensively bad, it is not nearly as good as the original Silent Hill 2. Uh, I would be lying if I said it didn't have moments that were strong. But it also has stuff that I find appalling, and some really dumb changes, to... Uh... Seven. Well, you know, Cursed, I think you're, 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 you're incredible. Four. Uh, two, four, seven, two, four, seven, two, four, seven, two, four, seven. Two, four, seven, two, four, seven. I don't know what order, though. Anyways, Q, I'm hungry. What are you gonna do about that? Hey, pick... Also, there's a lot of jankin' bugs. Do you do repeated instances of keys be getting misplaced from this point forward? They are to be returned to the locker at the end of every shift. All staff are required to memorize the padlock combination and are not to disclose it to anyone but authorized personnel under any circumstances. In case of problems, report to head nurse on examination room 3. No. You're, you are, you are, you are beautiful. Cursed. 247, 247. Fuck it. Try every variant of it. Two. Four. Oh! Set me back to zero. Two, seven, four? Four. Two. Seven. Four. Seven. Fuck! Hey, there we go. What is it? Basement. Ah. Just when I thought things couldn't get any creepier. Oh, Q, and you should also buy Alan uh, some pizza, because Alan's the pizza pup. This place feels so empty. More than the other places we've been. Get something for cursed as well. And send Cal some goddamn blonde uh blondies. Q, don't lie, we all know you have a shit ton of money because of your your raccoon uh killing. All right, then send a Q. Send Cursed a bunch of ass. You've sold so many raccoon pelts, Q. You're like a quadrillionaire at this point. You experience poor appetite or significant weight loss insomnia. Uh, hypersomnia. What is hypersomnia? Uh, loss of interest or pleasure in usual activities. Feeling of worthlessness. Diminished abilities to think or concentrate. Uh, healthcare provider. Laura, wait. It's okay. We don't want to hurt you. God damn it. Why would she run from us? Oh, shut up. I don't think she likes me very much. But why? Uh, uh we'll learn something new every day. Thank you, Cursed. It was Q, I'm hungry. Use your millionaire money, give me some food. Oh, 
Army Q, we all know you're sitting on a billion dollars from all the raccoon pelts you sold. All the raccoon doggy sweaters you've sold. Because you murder raccoons, and then you turn their fur into dog sweaters, and then you sell it to celebrities. Like Wall Smoth. How did you get over there? Yeah, I don't care. Or Mac Leuven. Or Lacey Louise. Or uh, Tyler Swaft. What's going on with that generator? Oh good, we need gas. Probably. It is Q, I'm hungry. Q, I'm so hungry. Alright, every single time I take damage from now on, it's because Q won't feed me. You just sent me a text message and just it just said I hope you starve. I hope you starve to death. I was like, Q, that's mean. Q, why would you say ah, fuck? You also just drove by my house and wrote a uh, 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 starving nerd on my, my garage door. Also, I'm stuck in a wall. You don't look so good. Yeah, I don't, and I'm also stuck in a wall, Maria. Like, I'm, I'm literally stuck in collision. Thank you, Silent Hill 2 Remake. See, Q just hacked my console. Wait a minute, let's see. Can I... <laughs> oh, there was an autosave, cool. Uh, I'm blaming- no, it's- it's Q's fault, because she hacked my console. And, uh, distracted me by writing, uh, a starving nerd on my garage with spray paint. Like, this is a brand new house, and she's already, de uh, desecrating it. You know, also when my house burned down, Q sent me messages like she was just like, "I'm sorry, I I just can't be friends with somebody who's homeless." You think you could get it working? And I was like, "Q, I live in a rental now," and she's like, "I don't care, you don't have a home." James? And then when I moved into the the, we moved back into the house. Uh, Q sent me a text message and said, "I hope your house burns down again." And I was like, "Q, why? Why do you hate me so?" No. Q, what did I do to you? you don't look so good. Shut up, Maria! I don't need a goddamn tutorial to tell me that I'm injured. I know I am injured. Uh. 
He also broke into my house and unplugged the refrigerator, so everything in the freezer and the refrigerator went bad. It's part of the reason why I'm so hungry. Niku! I think they're gone. For now. Maria? Please be quiet. Yeah, it's OTL is what Q likes to call me all the time. She said it means old turkey loser. I'm like, Q, why are you so mean to me? And Q is just like, LOL. <sighs> I'm not. Yeah. Sitting here hungry and you're a billionaire with your raccoon sweaters that you sell and you just won't get Jir tacos? You won't get Cal Blondies? You won't get cursed ass? You won't get me pizza, burgers, and mac and cheese? And Cheddar Bay biscuits? Very upsetting. Yeah, you can, but you I mean, you know, free blondies. Free is free, yo. Ow. Yeah, but Q could make you blondies that are made with hate. Don't you don't you want hate blondies? Thank you for getting in my way and blocking my shot, you fucking asshole. Anyways, well, where were we? Oh yeah, we were talking about how Q refuses to buy anybody food because she helps everybody starves to death. Q has like 18 prime cut T-bone steaks in her house right now, along with a lot of film, uh, filet mi mi uh, mignon and caviar. And uh, super expensive $10,000 bottles of champagne because she sold so many goddamn raccoon sweaters. Oh, Maria, are you being attacked by legs? Yeah, I'll be over there in a second. You're not expecting me to heal you, are you, Maria? Because I ain't doing that. <coughs> Check Discord images, huh? Yeah, that's there. Yeah. yeah, 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 that's about right. Also, Jir, what the fuck? Why are you buying me games on Steam? Stop it. I guess I have enough ammo to. You all right? No, James, I'm not. Not at all. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I know. It was also neat too, and by neat I mean terrible. We uh we, we actually had uh new sod and lawn put in our backyard so we could actually finally have a lawn. And then uh, Q dug it all up and covered the entire backyard with bleach and salt so nothing could ever grow again. 
is really heartbreaking. And then she also filled her gas tanks with sugar. Oh, I ain't mowing shit. My parents hired gardeners. I don't know why they did. Because we didn't have a front lawn or a back lawn. It's like nothing to garden. But they did it anyway. Uh, Q also said that she plans on breaking my air conditioning because she says, I hope you die of the heat. Cal, give me your elemental plane of water! It's like fucking hotter than the devil's asshole right now in, 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 in California. Oh, look at her. It got stuck. I think they're gone. Shot him. No. It ain't fall. Not for Los Angeles, baby. I want spooky season storms. Why is it a hundred degrees in fucking October? This is stupid. Hey. You None of your fucking business. What are you a cop? Don't worry. I'll be right back. No, we won't. Better. Anyways, Q, I'm hungry. When's the pizza coming? And the burger. And Jir's hungry too. When are his tacos coming? And Cal's blonde to use some cursed ass and uh uh Alan's pizza. Lee he probably wants spaghetti. Rachi san, as I said, you owe like ten billion trillion burgers. Oh cool, there's gonna be more enemies on the other side of the door. Um, Cerulean, uh, I guess get Cerulean a pizza too? I don't know what Cerulean wants. Let's check out that elevator. James? You know, you could still get Saru a pizza. <clears throat> uh, when I so when 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 we got out of the the apartments. I basically stopped using guns for a while and predominantly used the plank and managed to amass a lot of armory armory yeah yeah after pyramid head in going into pyramid head we had like 30 40 and I used up almost all of them and then after pyramid head oh yeah 
had a lot. Anyways, cue him hunger. Where's the mac and cheese? You hey, uh, Q. Why do you hate me so? <clears throat> oh, so Q, where's the lasagna? You promised me lasagna. And Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I wrote it down for you in a way you should finally be able to remember. Once you're in the lobby, just look around. Now remember, nurses, doctors, trees. Hey, I already did that. Because I figured it out on my own, you, you, you saucy little minx. Saucy minx cow, that's what they call her. I guess the second floor, though. Get a nudie. <clears throat> Snow, you, you upgraded your PC, right? You could request the PC version of this game. Since I know you don't have a PS5. <clears throat> Pog? Are we finally going to ditch Maria? Thank fuck. Hey. You okay? I'm sorry. That's fine. What's going on? Are you hurt? It's nothing. Probably just a hangover. Maybe you should rest. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Hmm. Mm. So comfy. I'm gonna go look for Laura. I'll be back as soon as I can. James? I wanted to ask you. No. What if you can't find Mary? What will you do? Uh, I'll take one of the mannequins home. thought about that get back soon okay I am never coming back okay we're never entering that room Oh uh, man, they take a they take a lot of ammo. Nurse. 
Subbuners! Subbuners! You stay down! 66, dude. Uh, well, I mean... Whenever I hear James in game, I'll, I'll occasionally jokingly go like, Yeah, what? What do you want? Snore loves Nurse Booty. That's why they call him Nurse Booty Snore. Huh? Who's squiggling? Are you squiggling in the heat? Yeah, they're squiggling. The camera really does not know what the fuck to do when it's up against a wall. It's kind of insane. Yeah, Niku loves romancing nurses. That's why they call him Romantic Nurse Snore. No. No. And Makoto get on. said I oh no I am actually getting kind of hungry I might try to get some food in a little bit <clears throat> and I should also uh, stream more until dawn because yesterday's stream went kapui so I think I'll take a break in a little bit to get some food And then we'll do a little bit of Until Dawn and then hop back to uh, Silent Hill 2. I guess when I find the next manual save point up here. Hey, fuck you, bot! Fuck you! Because I'm sure that this hospital has been padded out to, to, to take 16 hours. I think that's James's voice actor. Okay. You ain't curing a 
goddamn thing. Oh, hey, speak of the devil. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna raid out, end stream here, and get some food, and then we'll be back with, um, more Until Dawn PS5, followed by some Silent Hill 2 remake. Uh... I'm gonna send y'all on over... to... Eckhart. He's doing some Final Fantasy. 16. Uh, thank you all for stopping by and checking out the stream. Uh, you'll take care of yourself. Stay safe. Be excellent to each other. Uh, hopefully I'll catch you all later tonight or this evening or whenever. I don't know. Uh, yeah, and you'll take care now. Farewell. Goodbye. Bye.